This video shows that the content and structure of device displays in software from different vendors based on EDDL is the same because it is controlled by the device manufacturer. In this video, you will learn the difference between look and feel versus content and structure, interoperability between devices and software, how device manufacturers control how that device is displayed in third-party systems and tools. There is a difference between content and structure of the device displays on the one hand and look and feel on the other. The content and structure of the device displays is controlled by the device manufacturer. This makes sense because the device manufacturer knows best what information in the device is relevant and how to make calibration, diagnostics and setup easy. The look and feel of the displays is determined by the software. This makes sense because the controls such as buttons, checkboxes, trends and graphs etc. must work consistently for all devices. It is the device manufacturer that controls if there is an image on the page or not. The system manufacturer controls if the background is white or grey etc. It is the device manufacturer that controls if there is a trend on the page and how many pins or values it is recording. The system manufacturer controls how its toolbox for pan and zoom works. It is the device manufacturer controls which parameters are displayed on the page. The system manufacturer controls where to click to send a changed value to the device and how it is indicated the value has been changed and must be downloaded. It is the device manufacturer controls if there are status indicators for diagnostics. The system manufacturer controls if the status indicators look like red LEDs or regular window checkboxes. It is the device manufacturer controls if there are dial gauges on the page. The system manufacturer controls if the scale is 180 degrees or 270 degrees etc. It is the device manufacturer controls if there is a graph on the page and how many waveforms are displayed. The system manufacturer controls how its toolbox for pan and zoom works. It is the device manufacturer that controls if there is a checkbox on the page. The system manufacturer controls what it looks like. Usually it is a regular windows control. It is the device manufacturer that controls if there is a button on the page. The system manufacturer controls what it looks like. Usually it is a regular windows control. That is, device manufacturer provides device know-how and system manufacturer ensures consistency of use. In this first system, we click on the device and select process variables from the root menu. The display designed by the device manufacturer loads. This device display was designed by the device manufacturer to have six tabs for primary variable, secondary variable, third variable, fourth variable, hall variables and identification as seen on the top of the display. This tab has six frames around the parameters starting top left with device tag, primary variable information, range points, sensor limits, analog output information and lastly diagnostics in the lower right corner. In the top right corner there is an image with a grey background and we shall soon see that it is conditional that is it changes with the status of the device. At the center of the page the device manufacturer has decided there shall be a trend chart that contains three pins for primary variable, lower range limit and upper range limit. Note that in this system the trend chart has a toolbox with buttons to pan and to zoom. This toolbox comes from the system therefore these buttons work the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer any version using any protocol. This makes it easy to use the mix of devices typically found in a plant. There are a total of 11 parameters some are read only others can be changed. In the lower right corner, there are two status indicators for diagnostics. In this system, the status indicators look like LEDs and they are grey when inactive. This indication comes from the system, therefore these icons display the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer, any version using any protocol. This makes it easy to understand the mix of devices typically found in a plant. As the process value increases and exceeds the range, the conditional image changes to reflect the status as defined by the device manufacturer. Visually, flagging the status makes the device easy to use. As the process value decreases, returning within range, the conditional image changes back to reflect the status as defined by the device manufacturer. Let's take a look at another tab. The All Variables tab contains 6 dial gauges. In this system, the dials are 180 degrees. Note that sensor 2 does not have value or unit because only a single sensor is connected to the device. 
Let's look at the same type of device in a second system from another manufacturer. We click on the device and select process variables from the root menu just like in the first system. The display designed by the device manufacturer loads. The display has the same 6 tabs. This tab has the same 6 frames around the parameters. In the top right corner there is the same image but in this system it has a white background. At the center of the page there is a 10 chart that contains the same 3 pens. However, in this system, trend chart pan and zoom is done slightly differently but most importantly, it works the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer, any version, using any protocol connected to that system. Keep in mind, most plans only has one system but a mix of many different devices. There are the same 11 parameters. In the lower right corner, there are the same two status indicators for diagnostics. In this system, the status indicators look like regular Windows checkboxes and they are unchecked inactive. This indication comes from the system, therefore these indicators work the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer, any version, using any protocol. This makes it easy to use the mix of devices typically found in a plant. Keep in mind, most plants only has one system but a mix of many different devices. As the process value increases and exceeds the range, the conditional image changes just as in the first system. As the process value decreases, returning within range, the conditional image changes back just as in the first system. Let's take a look at the other tab. The All Variables tab contains the same 6 dial gauges. In this system, the dials are 270 degrees. Again note that the sensor 2 does not have value or unit because only a single sensor is connected. That is, this second system shows exactly the same information. No information from the device is hidden. It is displayed as intended by the device manufacturer. ETDL is the key to interoperability. Let's look at the same type of device in a third software application from yet another manufacturer. We click on the device and select process variables from the root menu just like we did in the first two systems. Display designed by the device manufacturer loads. The display has the same six tabs. This tab has the same 6 frames around the parameters. In the top right corner, there is the same image. At the center of the page, there is a 10 chart that contains the same 3 pens. However, the toolbox is different with buttons to save, copy, export and print. This toolbox comes from the software. Therefore, these buttons work the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer, any version connected to that system. Keep in mind, all plans have a mix of many different devices. There are the same 11 parameters. In the lower right corner, there are two status indicators for diagnostics. In this system, the status indicators look like LEDs and they are green inactive. This indication comes from the system. Therefore, these icons work the same way for any type of device from any manufacturer, any version. This makes it easy to use the mix of devices typically found in a plant. As the process value increases and exceeds the range, the conditional image changes just as in the first two systems. As the process value decreases, the returning within range, the conditional image changes back just as in the first two systems. Let's take a look at the other tab. The All Variables tab contains the same 6 dial gauges. In this software, the dials are 300 degrees. Again, note that sensors 2 is not applicable because only a single sensor is connected. That is, this third software application shows exactly the same information. No information from the device is hidden. It is displayed as intended by the device manufacturer. EDDL is the key to interoperability. Did you notice how the content and structure of the information in the device is the same in all three systems as defined by the device manufacturer? Let's review. The root menu contains the same three items from the IEC 618044 technical report process variables, diagnostics and configuration setup. There were 6 tabs, 6 frames, 1 conditional image with illustration for each condition, 1 train with 3 pens, 11 parameters, 2 status indicators. On the other tab, there were 6 dial gauges in all the 3 systems, just as intended by the device manufacturer. No information hidden or lost. EDDL is the key to interoperability. Use EDDL to gain access to information in intelligent devices as intended by their manufacturer yet enjoy unmatched consistency and ease of use independent of the device manufacturer. Visit www.eddl.org for more information.